Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. Welcome back. And if this is your certainly your first time, I'd like to welcome you. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now we are going to get in No Man Can I Hinder Me. We're in chapter number 19 which is entitled, The Prisoners Win. And it goes like this. After successfully completing radar training, we were assigned to Camp Gruber, Oklahoma, or Gruber, Oklahoma, joining 98 more soldiers, including two more african Americans. We were ordered to escort a hundred German prisoners of war to a prison at Camp Gruber. Taking great pains to check the handcuffs and other restraints of the Germans, we prepared for the long train ride from Philadelphia to Oklahoma. The Germans wore distinct mustard-colored prison garb with the word prisoner emblazed on the back. The trip was uneventful until we stopped in Claremont, Missouri, home of the late humorous Will Rogers, for a lunch break. We lined up the prisoners, still shackled, in front of a restaurant that had been uh, camardeered ahead of time by the Army. The restaurant owner was rubbing his hands in glee at the large bill he anticipated charging the United States government. Several white soldiers went ahead of the prisoners. The remainder marched alongside to prevent escape, and we four black soldiers brought up the rear. When the restaurant owner saw the four of us, he went into a frenzy. No niggeras, no niggeras, he screamed. The Germans swiveled around and jeered our presence and began contemptuously shouting, Squarzen, Squarzen, Squarzen. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is what it means. Niggers is what they were saying in German. And the prisoners who pledged their allegiance to Adolf Hitler had found four targets at which to sprue their master race venom. With equal content, the owner announced, if the Negras want to eat, they will have to go out in the freezing February rain. My next report escalated the threat to the secret gathering of okay sorry about that let me get back that up i, I turned two pages yeah that's why i didn't sound right y'all uh they will have to go out in the freezing rain to the back window where someone will make them sandwiches to take out meanwhile the german prisoners and the white soldiers sat in the warm spacious dining room enjoying their meal. We black soldiers were so angry that a bitter taste still surges to my throat when I remember that humiliating experience. Fortunately, we did not have live ammunition in our weapons. I'm mm -hmm. not suggesting that the situation would have had a different conclusion. But one never knows, does one. Hmm. Now, uh, I might have been bleeped out because I had some things that were coming through. So I'm going to just repeat that last uh, paragraph for reiteration purposes that uh, fortunately we did not have live ammunition in our weapons. I am not suggesting that the situation 
would have had a different conclusion. But one never knows, does one? Hmm. And that does complete chapter 19. So stay tuned to chapter 20 here on Poem Praise 2, which is entitled Outwitting the Colonel. So it be it thy will, I will talk with you soon. I certainly want you to be well. Uh, take care. Until next time. Later, y'all.